Hi, and welcome to Chronicles of Yarnia, the podcast from Montclair's local yarn store. Remember to like and subscribe us underneath Kathleen over there. You can click on the alarm bell and follow us on all forms of social media, not just YouTube, but including uh, Instagram at Shop Yarnia, Facebook, um, Yarnia LLC, and all other various ones. Mm -hmm. And sign up for our newsletter, too. And sign up for our newsletter. Go to our website. Um shopyarnia.com and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you can sign up for our newsletter we'll be notified every week about all kinds of new stuff including stuff that's you know in new in store um classes classes yeah which ones are selling out which, which ones, ones if are you're thinking out. about it go for it now so yeah jen puts in one space left or all that kind of stuff yes yeah <laughs> so you can like the first person on monday morning to click through can get it Mm-hmm. Snipe it. Um, <laughs> so it's been a bit. It's been a while because we had holidays and uh, New Year and, and people out of it's town. 2020. And it's it 2020. It's 2020. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we're all kind of like recovering from that a little bit, and <laughs> yeah. like reentry is not always easy. Mm-hmm. We missed um, a podcast. We missed a podcast. Um, yeah. Jen was gone. was gone. I was sick. Kathleen was sick. I was gone. Then I was yeah. gone. And then she was gone. <laughs> and then she was gone. <laughs> and now we're all back. Yeah. Well, Yay! Hey. <laughs> Knock wood. Knock wood. No, I'm yes. right. terrified. So I've been taking Zycam like every day just in case Ugh. because mm-hmm. children are back at school and everybody's Oh yeah. All, all, the, all the germs are <laughs> <It's> gross. <laughs> the germs are out and about again. Really gross. Right? Yeah, yeah. Nobody nobody wants to nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Um So part of our recovery from the holidays is we haven't done our December bag raffle yet. Oh, can we say who we are? Oh my God. (laughs) I'm an idiot. And what we're doing here? Maybe Amanda will edit this in or she'll leave it in because I can't recall anything. So (laughs) I'm Jen. I'm Amanda. (laughs) I'm Kathleen. There we go. And the other thing we always do at the beginning, what number podcast is this? Oh, no, this one I know because we had advanced preparation. It's number 20. (laughs) 20! Yeah. Number 20 in 2020. Woo-hoo. 20 in 2020! Yay! Maybe Amanda will edit this. <laughs> or she'll no. leave it. No. No, you're going to leave it so it's I can... Your own natural. <laughs> I'm own natural. No actually. filters. No filters. I, <laughs> there was actually one thing I was going to do before we started that I didn't do yet, so maybe we do need... Maybe we'll need to edit this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> we can what? hit pause. Pretend pause. Okay. Oh, we're, we're back! <laughs> we're back! Can you guess what changed? I don't know that you can. It's maybe. like one of those highlights... Oh, yeah. Puzzles. If you comment below and tell us, then, <laughs> you then you're below, really eagle-eyed. Then we'll but know. It was, Who's the it was bothering me. <laughs> then we'll know it bothers not only Kathleen. Yeah. Right, it bothers others. <laughs> also all of our It people. probably does. I mean, they're, 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 I'm not the only fussy person out there. I know oh, that. God, no. I'm fussy all the time. Where I'm, like, straightening pictures in other people's houses because I'm that annoying. <laughs> the I'm only like, thing that bothers me is off-tilt pictures yes like oh. pictures that have vertical lines that are t- tilted mm-hmm. can't do that oh, okay yeah. I, I i can't with crooked things and like, <laughs> i i and i and i am very good at spotting level like mm-hmm. just by eye which when jonathan hangs pictures in our house he hates because i'm always right <laughs> and not just because like, i'm always right but because i'm i am actually correct mm-hmm. um, when you say i think that corner needs coming down a little you mean yeah it. <laughs> i'm like that's not centered and he's like yes it is i'm like measure it and it's not centered of course it's not. like it needs to go over a scooch um <laughs> or tilted and he's just like how do you do that um so anyway back to what's going on around town the first thing that's going on around town is that we're gonna do our december bag raffle oh that's right yes Um, all right and who wants to explain what the bag raffle is well as of january 1st all over montclair there are no more plastic bags that's true Mm -hmm. yay but i don't know six months or so ago we started back in july we got rid of ours we started doing um and also, you know, got rid of our plastic bags and brought in paper, but also started rewarding customers who choose not to take a bag at all. Yeah. Which, uh, which a number of people have been doing, which is great. You know, yeah. either, you know, if it's one or two skeins or something small, throw it in your purse, carry it out to your car, which is probably steps from our door. Right. Um, but, you know, even to encourage people to save resources and not use bags, yeah. we started doing a raffle, kind of like Trader Joe's does. Um, yeah. We do it once a month. And if you don't take a bag uh, when you make a purchase, 
you get to enter our raffle, and we've got these little. Uh, We're not going to shame you if you take a bag. But no, no, not if you at need all. a bag, take the bag. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And and the other nice thing, actually, many people who do take bags, if they they'll come back with them and say, do you want to reuse it? Which yeah. is great too, this and we awesome. do that. Cool. So just you we got your name and you got your phone number because we uh, we text you if you win, and we throw all of our people for the month in a bag, and once a month we draw. So this is our December folks. And we reuse this bag. And they're gonna win. <laughs> oh, always. I... It's already a reuse bag. <laughs> it was, it was from our product. Uh, it's so. gonna be a $20 gift certificate. Right? $20 gift yep. card for Yarnia, yeah. exactly. So, so uh, let's see who the winner is. You want okay, to close your eyes, Jen, and reach, in, reach across? And um, why doesn't Amanda read it? Let's the reacher. Here. I'm the reacher. I'm looking away. Um, Adrian Felder! Yay! Yay! Congratulations. Right, Adrian. Congratulations, Adrian! So we'll Kathleen contact will be you. giving you a call. Yes, we will be in touch and let you know that you got your $20 gift card for Yarnia. Yeah. Um, and thanks to everyone who participated, and actually the jar for January, even though we're not that I know, far January, it's super is, full. is crammed, which is great. Yeah. More and more people are, are taking advantage of that. That's so, awesome. It makes yeah. sense. Good yep. news. It's a lot easier. Um, well, let's see what else is going on around town. I mean, not technically town town, right? But there's Montclair not, town. There's not <laughs> too much going on in Montclair town, I don't think. Mm -hmm. No. Well, you know, one thing that I'm, I, and I know like Yarnia and, and many of us have participated in, Free First Thursdays at the museum. Oh, is a yeah. Good thing. That's that always, I just, thing. you know, popped up on Facebook, so-and-so's attending, so-and-so's attending. It is, no, it's a really fun thing. If, if you're a local uh, to our area and you don't know about it, the Montclair Art Museum, which is kind of a stone's throw from us. Yeah, literally. Um, every, the first Thursday of every month, other than the summer months, um, yeah. they have a thing where, you know, it's basically, it's kind of like a cocktail hour. The museum is free for everyone. Um, you meet friends. There are different events that really go on. Fun. They have yeah. music usually. It's Sometimes a lot of fun. We had some. We've had some knitting there before. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. They. Wow. They. Thursday, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know. A year ago or so, they invited us to come and have a table. Um, actually, both the Montclair Knitting Circle and Yarnia had tables next to each other, and you know, got more people in the community interested in knitting and crochet, which yeah. is really yeah. cool. Which is awesome. So. It's a great um, community building thing. And it really is. The art museum has a beautiful collection, a, a permanent mm -hmm. collection, it's and then really rotating. Nice. The rotating ones are cool. They've They're got a really good. cool animal exhibit that's coming up in February. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abby She's goes the to the um, Abby goes to the Saturday classes. Oh, nice. Yeah, she loves all that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're family members. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's yeah. where I do. Um, I throw pottery uh, at the ceramic studio, um, along with a couple other. Friends of store. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. All these yeah. things here. All those, uh, all those. <laughs> Muggle made. Down the street. Yeah. Because yep, exactly. I don't have a kiln. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a wheel? Don't have a kiln. But yeah, so that's a, it's a, it's a great thing to do. So throw it on your calendar. If you miss one month, you'll catch mm -hmm. the next month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I should just like throw it on my calendar as a standing thing. Cause a lot of times by the time I do see those reminders, I may have something else already on my yeah. calendar. Or I forgot. But it's, or I'm like, it's oh. fun to take advantage of. It really Thursday. is. And especially because you you know you're going to see people that you know there. Oh and, yeah. You know, like we oh, yeah. connect with the old friends comes out. and yeah, it's it's really it's, it's totally really worth cool. it. It's really yeah. cool. Um, also, this weekend is Vogue Knitting Live. That's like, right. Uh, started in New York City. Yesterday? Started yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Thursday, right? Thursday. Classes. 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 Yeah, classes. Classes mm -hmm. started on Thursday. Yep. Today, I guess, is the. I've the market really starts timing. Friday night. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. record like... earlier in the week. For yeah. publication so it's for us later to keep in the week, track we don't know what day it is. What yeah. day it is when you see this. And also, you may not see it the day it comes out. So. And also, we may not know what day it is, even the day we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Any of us. Any, Any of us. us. Um, Friday, the marketplace opens, and it's open the weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. it's open the so weekend. So, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. I'm not, I'm not going this year. Oh, Is anyone going this year? I'm not going this no. year. It's there's, I've gone the last two years, done some classes, you know, and now that we have the store, it, it's such a different thing going to the marketplace. Yeah, it's it like, is. you know, you see your vendors. You well, see people <laughs> say, like, you know, are you going? I'm like, I literally shop for yarn every all day all year long. <laughs> kind of the job. I don't really need to do <laughs> yeah. that. Um, but uh, I'm actually going to be in New York on Sunday. So, in Midtown. In Midtown. Mm -hmm. I hate Midtown. Well, we're going. Midtown. That's that's like <laughs> we're not doing a big thing for Martin Luther King weekend because that's this weekend. That is mm -hmm. this weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no school the next uh, Monday on and Tuesday, Monday. which is no. But there's a day of service on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of schools I know are doing that. A lot of communities do a day of service on Monday for Martin mm -hmm. Luther King Day. Yep, yep. Um, which is awesome. And also this weekend is the Women's March in New York, right? Uh, and around the country. Um, and that's on Saturday, right? And that is on it's Saturday. It's on Saturday. 
And also on Saturday, Christy Glass Knits is organizing the Subway Storm. Yes. yes. It's all That's Saturday right. the 18th. So Saturday in New York City is going to be pretty crazy. Popping. Yes. Cra crazy if you're coming usual. from our local area, I would suggest take the bus or the train. Public transportation. Yep. And it's your get, friend. get there by... Eight, if you want to, they're mm -hmm. organizing yeah, to the get Christy on the subway. The one train, eight forty-five. Eight forty-five. Yeah, eight forty-five. Mm -hmm. Check out. I'll link it below. Check yeah. out her Instagram. She has like a whole description of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a, a, a Penn Station is going to be real fun that day, that mm -hmm. morning. It depends Between on how much folks. you like your fellow human beings. <laughs> right. <laughs> Between everybody going to the Women's March, which it, at least is on the the east side, so um, it will be. Yeah, jammed. And, and Vogue is on we'll the left side. Jammed. Yeah. Vogue is on the left side. So you could. West. If you, I know. I said, I'm sorry. I started that. I always said that. Side, west side. Left, right. right. It is. It is the left side. Um, As you, you face north. <laughs> when you look at a map. This is why, like, navigating other cities, people are like, oh, you go downtown. And I was oh. like, so downtown means south. And they're like. No, no, it means downtown. But in Manhattan, downtown means south, mean south. Uptown exactly. means north. Exactly. And it's like it's very is, logical. Yeah. If you grow up in this area, then like going to like Seattle, you're like, what do you mean downtown is in the center? That's weird. <laughs> oh, very East Coast. Centric. I got so confused in Amsterdam where everything's concentric circles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Vienna too. Canal rings. You think you're going south, but you're not. You're, you're now not. going west. You're going. Yeah. <laughs> um, so someone who plans really, really well could probably do both the Women's March and Vogue Knitting Live. Oh, yeah. But they would have to really love Midtown and crowds. Yes. yes. Um, and check the security guidelines the security for the Women's March because, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you might mm -hmm. not be able to carry things for your bag. I think you'd have to do the Women's March first and Vogue Knitting second, and then if you were headed And you might not be able to take your knitting or west to the Women's March. Um, I don't know about that. You could just continue goals. west and, you know, hit Jersey. <laughs> um, walk across the Hudson. Walk across the Hudson, <laughs> which will, you know, be a reprieve from the crowds that you encounter at both the Women's March and Vogue Knitting Live. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, it's a big weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a big weekend. On. I'm not... And I'm I'm here on Saturday. Man, don't be so here. if you want And I, I am available for a couple hours if you if you want to grab yeah. lunch or if you want to come in late or whatever. I'm yeah. happy to do it. We'll see. I'll yeah, see. let me know. Just yeah. let me know. I'll have to see. I don't know what I'm gonna do this weekend yet. Here. Yeah. We we might have a it'll be fun. We well, it'll be fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we I'm part of rough. part of twenty twenty is that we may actually hit twenty patterns that we're talking about. In this episode, in this episode. episode. episode so, because well, because it has up. been it has been a little while since been we've been all together. It's been a while. Been able to I'm not. I usually rush these guys so that we stay within like <laughs> try to hit an hour. Um, I think well, I've heard a few comments like, "When is the next episode coming out?" We have missed mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. So, think of this as a bonus. Just pause in the middle whenever you have to go. Full mm -hmm. laundry. Yes. Get dinner. Mm -hmm. Get some work done. Take a yeah. break. <laughs> and then start it again. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Exactly. So, this is yeah, a procrastinating like, podcast because you can be like, snip it. And then like, oh, I guess I need to actually do some stuff. Yeah. Snip it. Mm -hmm. But speaking of, I we should get going on to our finished objects. Yes. Yep. All right. Um, I will go first because I'm still talking. Because you're wearing it. Yeah. Because I'm wearing So I am so wearing pretty. the Magnolia Sweater by Camilla Vaughn. I love it. Love it so um, much. Which I'm really happy with Jim is how soft it looks. Today. I am very soft. Ollie this morning, <laughs> very soft. my little one, he likes to stop breakfast and um, go around the table and give hugs, which is very sweet. Aww. And also, it's because he wants. It's a time he, waster. It's a time waster. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to suck it up. We were like, oh, aren't you charming? Slash manipulative, little, adorable, <laughs> wee little eyes for um, but he was like, oh, mommy, I'm so soft today. I'm like, mommy, is soft. Eat your food. <laughs> I, need, I need to pet you. Know, oh, yeah, very food. nice. Very um, so this is like, <laughs> this is a deep stash bust of, um, it was a fingering weight yarn that I got from a wool walk, like, probably like three or four years ago, combined with a mohair silk that I got, like, hardcore at least 20 years ago. That's, um, that's great. That's yay. impressive. Yeah. Which is terrifying, because as a, the, the meme that we... I'm sure all saw around New Year's was like, 
2000 was 20 years ago, funnily yeah, enough. So exactly. it was 1990. <laughs> and I'm like, that is, that is me. I'm like, 1990 nice. was 20 years ago. And of course it was. so was 2000. <laughs> and I feel seen. Um, so I shortened the sleeves on the sweater and I widened the neck. I cast on more stitches and did a little bit of math. Um, that looks like your this, happy place. This is my happy Yeah, neck. yeah, not not too crew necky. Right? Anything too more, tight. and I'm like, the, as written, it would you would have been happy with that. <laughs> uh, it was like very like this, and I'm like, oh no, no. I'm short the same neck. Way. I like it, like it to come away a little bit more, just a little, a little yeah. more openness. I have a short wide neck, and nobody nobody wants. <laughs> um, and sleeves, I did the decreases as written. Um, I had to do a bit of math on the the pattern because she does tell you how long the sleeves are and she tells you how long the lace is. She does not tell you how long the ribbing is. <laughs> um, because you can vary it among yeah. other reasons. Mm -hmm. right. So I had to do a bit of math to figure out how long I need, when I needed to start um, the lace to make it three quarter sleeves instead of a very long sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it mm -hmm. and I did it, I did it as written. I did chart out the lace on this. Um, because you can share your chart with I will me, share I will your, it. share my chart with you because it, um, it was row by row and it's a 47 yeah. row I lace hate working from words like pattern. that. That's my brain doesn't do words. I, no, no. My, charts are, charts the problem are is, is my brain words. does words, but I need the chart as the reminder. So I have on the chart, which I did in Excel or Google sheets. Cause who are we kidding? Um, <laughs> I did the chart and I then hate next Google to, Sheets. I hate Google Sheets. Well, it doesn't have all of the functionality of Excel. Exactly. And mm. the sorting functions I don't like. I, they need to step it up. I've already they, I've shared this with the the folks that I know at Google who don't work on Google Sheets, but I still complain to them. Yeah. I'm I have a new job and I'm working full time and they use Google Sheets, the new yeah. and I'm like you people. <laughs> it's not the same. Mm -hmm. It's not, not the same. There. I'm a, pretty heavy Excel user, but yeah. I use the functionality. And yeah. It's Word, not there. Word and docs. There's some functionality that's missing, but not a ton. Excel. There's some hardcore functionality missing, yeah. but for picking anyway, out knitting charts, it works really well. Yeah. To knitting. Yeah. Um, so I did the chart and then I put the, the, the line in words next to it, just so I have a reminder oh, nice. because mm -hmm. the, my symbols, you'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, cool. thank you. But the lace was pretty straightforward, and I used markers to delineate the repeats because yeah. otherwise I was going to get confused. It's just easier. It's just easier. I yeah. to do that too. Um, but I'm very happy with it. I will. I don't think I've updated my notes on Ravelry. I did a huge I Ravelry I will. project update like you're two days ago. You're so oh, bad. I hadn't updated my project since July. Oh, oh well. okay. So I, I, feel I feel better. I try to do it as I go. Like I, you know, I, you I take pictures I as I go. I, I don't necessarily do all of it on the same day, but like no. I take pictures and then I'll be looking for another picture. I'll be like, oh wait, I never did put that project up, did I? And then no. I go and just do a little catching up. I mean, I had all the I'm pictures, bad. obviously, because I take all the pictures for yeah Instagram and our podcast and all that kind of stuff. So I, have I been, had them. I just never did Ravel. I often have the notes. Uh, I'm really bad with the pictures. If I make notes, then I had then I had the project. The project existed in Ravelry. Yeah, but. I mean sometimes I'll like update my notes as I go, but oftentimes I'll just use like the the note the note taking app in my phone, and then I'll cut and paste that into mm -hmm. Ravelry, which is why my Ravelry notes often are written in some sort of weird shorthand. Yes, yes, so, Vo totally. voice dictation. <laughs> I under or voice dictation, so I'll understand it or I won't, mm -hmm. um, but nobody else will, which is fine. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. um, Especially for paid patterns. Yeah, like paid a lot patterns? of it makes more oh. sense. Oh yeah. You yeah. You need, yeah, when you, you need, you need, you the need pattern both. To, yeah, exactly. Which is, we're not, we're not trying to help anyone, right. you know, do things without a pattern. Right. Yeah. No, because ideas have value and yeah. people who have put work into their ideas should get paid for that. Absolutely. Work um, at a lot of expense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So I finished this. And then blocked it. And I did this one. I finished this one after the new year because I went away and I did not bring this because it was too much stuff and I was traveling internationally. So I brought my small fighting words mitts from Annie Watts. I had finished BAM. So I had finished BAM. There you go. There we go. <laughs> um, last January, <laughs> shortly after the first Oink, Oink. Pigments trunk show. 
that we had last year because this is where I got that Link Pigments yarn mm -hmm. and the kit. Mm -hmm. um, and I got, I finished PAL. I started PAL last year and got to right here. And then I put it aside for literally a year, and then I picked it up after Christmas and finished this on one plane ride. I would about to say, that would be so fast. It's yeah. so fast. And I, uh, so you'll cute. see in my, my whips, I did, um, I have another, another set um, that I'm working on in gray and pink, and I finished BAM in a day and a half. Because it's not, they're short. Yeah. It's yeah. just I put it aside. Um, these have And these been... alternating. If you're holding two strands on one finger. Alternating goes. Right. It's fine. Unless you're yeah. doing like I used to when I first started. Where you put one down and pick one up. Yeah. That was the point where I'm like, I have to learn how to hold these. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> learn. You gotta learn the both. It goes quickly. This is a good thing to practice. It also has long color things. So you do have to trap your yarn. Um, but not a ton. It's like... I did. Just the, Mostly background so the, just the background. Yeah, just the background, the background of the, the BAM and the PAL. Um, these have been uh, stolen by my older son for his video game gloves. Oh, that's cool. He is like, can I have them? Can I have them? Can I have them? <laughs> and he wore them to school like three days uh, last week when it was cold. Um, and then I was like, yo, I need those back because we're podcasting and I need a finished option. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like... All right, and I I did also tell him like if you lose them, I will never forget that you lost them. And he was like, yeah. okay, yeah, I got it, mom, I got it. <laughs> and you can tell I have a slight gauge difference. You can tell where I put them put them aside because this is a tiny bit looser than this one. That but happens. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. I don't want to set far for it. Uh, I made another fur cowl out of the fur. This one is for our crossing guard. Ooh, I like that. I like that one. It's like narrower and it's taller. It's narrower. Yeah. It's taller. Mm. It's thirty stitches. Um, Actually, function. It's very functional when it's cold outside. Yeah. So yeah. She can, exactly. She needed something that was going to actually keep her warm and not just be cute. Right. Um. So this does. Ooh. And it's getting my hair, which is always staticky, staticky. So I did this. So this is two skeins of. That's like one and a half of the for real. Oh, so it's a little bit smaller than the one. It's a little bit, I made it a little bit narrower. For me, I probably would have made it a little bit looser because I like, I don't want anything too tight on my neck. Um, but it'll stretch too. We've heard that before. Yeah, we've heard that before. Hello, neckline. Um, this one so is... So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. If we're doing count. Yeah, yeah right. one, two, three. This is four. This is Kelborn Woolen Scout. And it is their June year of hats. This is for my dad for his birthday. I, if you remember. Did you make another one? I'm, did I already talk about this one? You, I don't think I finished this one. No, no, no. I did another one that was striped you had, yeah, you had other with ones slip for stitches, him, but, yes, but it, was, it was reddish. Right? It was reddish and mm -hmm. red and gray, and it had wider vertical Pens. stripes, mm -hmm. and it did not have pearl. Oh. Mm -hmm. It was knit. Look at that fancy With a slip you. stitch. So this is actually the, the pattern. Pearl. I did, did the, the actual pattern, pearl. Actually. But what I did was I did it inside out and I did it helically. I did a helical knitting. Oh. Where, which we have a workshop on. We do. Coming what up. What is that? I it's don't a, know. It's a Monday. <laughs> I'll put right, it here. Maybe yeah. we'll put it here. I don't remember where it is. It's mm -hmm. then. Yeah. So I, I knit this inside out because I didn't feel like purling that much. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then you just slipped them on the back. Yeah. So instead of slipping these are slip stitches so instead of slipping your stitch in the front in with the yarn in the back to make oh, the right. extended the, the, thing the, i slipped it with the, yarn the with the yarn in the front on this side so this is for my dad's birthday along with the other hats that he got for christmas <laughs> um and I made him a, I I made like him a whole bunch I love of hats this. for christmas i love this is this all scout too this is also all scout this wow. is for me this is a Love variation so of Tannis Lee, uh, Lavalie's um, Luminosity hat done in a DK weight. Um, Was it, is the pattern for DK? The pattern is for her fingering. Mm -hmm. Oh, She yeah. just released the Luminosity sweater, which I want yes, so I saw bad. That. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, with the same pattern. The, no, the one variation. In fingering? In fingering. The, the one thing I did with this one is I dropped one, because it's DK, so the gauge I dropped one of her patterns mm -hmm. um, one, pan one, one, one panel of, yeah one section so yeah. I didn't do that um, but I did the rest and this is scout for me do you know how many wow. stitches you cast on for that yes 
it's divisible by 12. The, the repeat is divisible by 12, so I'm pretty sure I did 108. Mm -hmm. Is that divisible by 12? That sounds right, doesn't it? Yes. I think so. 96 is divisible by 8. Yeah. 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I did 108 mm -hmm. stitches, um, and I think I did the ribbing on 100 and then increased to 108. Mm-hmm. I'm, I was thinking about doing a hat with my... So, um, yeah, I um, I was thinking about doing a hat to... I have a lot of yarn, even after making my soldatna and my dogdatna. Yeah. I've got <laughs> I've got some uh, yarn left over that I was thinking about doing a hat. This you is amazing. used... I used Scout. You used Scout? I used no. Scout and Mad Tosh. This, is a, this is a great um, pattern for using up scraps because you can... you Or to do... Um, you know, a more consistent colorway because you can repeat colors, mm -hmm. which I did, or you can just not repeat colors. Mm -hmm. On yeah. my dad's, I did a different color every one. I, ne I did not repeat a mm -hmm. single one. Mm -hmm. um, and like I used up all the gray on the bottom, so then I was like, oh, I'll put purple on the top. Mm -hmm. And then, you know. It's so fun. I love it. It's, it's so great. fun. It was a really quick knit. This took me maybe like two nights. Um, nice. it was, so what is that? Five? One, that's five. Two, three, four, five. And then. I'll put little numbers. She'll put numbers. Okay, good. So hopefully we'll actually hit 20. Um, I can't put sound effects, though, because for some reason with the update okay. of iOS, Mac iOS, oh, it's not like compatible. It, 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 it crashes. Can we just go like, bing? <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, yeah, bing! That's... <laughs> Maybe I'll so, record a sound. This is an old finished object, but I wanted to hold it up because we are, I finally, finally <laughs> decided what the winter sweater class is going to be, and it is going to be Love, Love Note, Note by Tin Can Knits. Um, this is going to be so nice. This one is the one that I did in Ba Fingering and um, Knitted Wit Fairy, Fairy floss. floss as the Silk Mohair. Um, I did one of the larger sizes. It may have been like a 52 or a 54 inch bust. Um, and I used every single inch, <laughs> like every single inch of the fingering, two skeins. Oh, just two. Just two. That's excellent. Yeah. Isn't two skeins of the yeah, fingering for a relatively large size. And I had leftover of the silk mohair two skeins of the silk mohair, mm -hmm. which has a lot of yardage. Mm -hmm. um, so this is going to be our Sunday sweater class. Um, you can knit it in a fingering held together with a mohair. You could knit it with a fingering held together with a fingering. You could knit it with a DK. Um, mm -hmm. nice. So we have lots of options. So if somebody is particular about mohair, they don't have to use it. Mm -hmm. um, you could also hold a fingering with another lace weight, like if there's like a, mm -hmm. a, a lace that they want to use. Like but marl it a little bit. Like marl it a little bit. Um, or two fingerings held together would be really pretty. You could do two speckles held together. That would be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, a I speckle just, and a solid. A speckle and a solid. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I might do a DK or two fingerings held together. Mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll figure that TBD. out. But You're that will wall. be... Yes. Do you know when it's starting? No, because I have to look at my calendar. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to jump in on that one. I've been thinking about making that sweater. I so. figured out the sweater, and then now I have to actually look oh, at the dates. One um, step at a time. One <laughs> step at a time. Baby steps. But at this rate, it's not going to start until um, early February. Mm -hmm. But it'll yeah. start then. But we, your sweater, your Sunday sweater class is always super popular, so. They're fun. Yeah, it's a fun group, it's right? It's a fun group. And, you know, over time you get new people in yeah. and some people rotate out. Some people whatever, rotate so. out, some people rotate in. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to keep yourself on track making a sweater. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you feel obligated. Well, <laughs> yeah. And it's also good, like, for our podcast viewers who might want to knit along with us yeah. to know, like, oh, we're starting this in a month. Mm -hmm. So if you want to virtually knit along, too. That's we true. are starting... Yeah. Love note. Love note. In about a month. Jen is starting love note. Me and Kathleen. I'll I have another one I'm starting. Yes. So Amanda, what for sure? Yeah. What do you have? have? I have a finished object. I have two finished objects. I have two and a half finished objects. Um, because I knit one finished object and then I knit another of the pair. Um, but anyway, <laughs> the first thing is I finished a sweater for my, um, for kiddo number four. Abby. Six. Um, oh, this probably. is Rhythm Knits, uh, who was a trunk show, um, who came for a trunk show last year. This is Rhythm Knits and her DK so base. So pretty. Um, it's gorgeous. The color is Unicorn. 
I, I was gonna say it just it screams unicorn. It really right. does. It's it so screams and, Abby, and, it's, and, and and that's so Abby exactly with yeah. her yeah. unicorn blanket. Totally oh, you're gonna take Abby. a picture of her wearing that, cuddled up with her unicorn blanket. I will totally <laughs> take a picture. I mean. Was like, can I be in your podcast today? And I'm like, you have school today. Um, but I told her she could be in a pic, be in a picture for sure. So I'll put a picture in of Abby. She looks great, <clears throat> right? So pretty. So the pattern so is pretty. the Kitty Vertebrae. I have my notes down here. Um, oh, yeah. The Kitty Vertebrae by Kelly Van Niekerk. Yep. Um, Kelly has several vertebrae patterns. Mm -hmm. There, the free one is the newborn vertebrae. Yes. Right, which is. Um, for little itty bitties. Then there's a baby vertebrae, there's a kitty vertebrae, there's a mama vertebrae. Um, so you can vertebrae everybody. Um, but what makes this like a cool pattern, and one reason I really like this for Abby, is it's a pretty typical raglan design, mm -hmm. but there are <clears throat> um, half the frequency of increases on this front panel uh -huh. that there mm -hmm. are on the sleeves in the back. So you know, generally your raglans are increasing and, you know, if you're doing a cardigan, your front is growing so that it, you know, hangs. At the same rate. As yeah, the so yeah. It, yeah. it hangs and will close-ish if you want it mm -hmm. to close. Mm -hmm. um, but this one does not. Um, it has shallower fronts mm -hmm. to it, which I really like for kids. Um, Abby put it on. She's like, I can't close it. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's right. That's part of the design. That's the point. <laughs> yeah, you also can't spill food on the front. <laughs> if you spill food, it goes on your shirt, which I can put in the wash. And your pants, which are fine, whatever. <laughs> um, but it doesn't go on the sweater mommy made for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very smart. So that it was is. my strategy. <laughs> good, good thinking. Um, she actually I cast this off on Christmas Day. She wanted it for to me to finish it for Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Aww. Um, and she had, uh, she had, I think, something similar to what you had, where she had like a high oh, yeah. fever she and was, chills yeah. and was achy, oh, okay. and mm -hmm. starting at Christmas dinner, and she was just like all snuggled up in her new. Mm -hmm vertebrae it kept Aww. her warm Aww. but yeah and that went on for several days um her not feeling well but this sweater worked well um so and she pretty. wears it a lot but it's i had so to take cute. it from her oh it's gorgeous also kitty vertebrae has crop sleeves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i put it on her the first try on um and a the sleeve decreases were less frequent than I needed them to be for Abby's arm width. Mm -hmm. So it ended up being like a really baggy sleeve. Um, and she, I put it on her to try it out after I bombed off the first time. She's like, why is it end in the middle of my arm? <laughs> She's like, I want a sleeve that has thumb holes. Mm. So I was like, she is not a three quarter <laughs> sleeve kind of girl. <laughs> so I actually ripped the whole sleeve back and re-knit it with much faster decreases. Um, which I did put those notes. This is one of the patterns that I did have. Mm -hmm. There were no pictures mm -hmm. in Ravelry, but I did have I notes. notes. Mm -hmm. So I have the notes of what my decreases were. Um, and then I did Kathleen's trick of going back and forth a few times on that mm -hmm. sleeve so to clever. make a sleeve hole, a thumb hole. And she loves it. She sticks her little thumbs through it all the time. It is fun. There's something, and it just keeps you extra cozy. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's Very my nice. kitty vertebrae. I love it. So I can, I have. FOs for kids. Um, the next one is here. That's this one. All my bags behind me because I have a lot of. Stuff. I'm gonna keep a tally of how many patterns <laughs> All right. to see if we need to go run around the store and get one more. <laughs> well, I have. Uh, yeah, no, I probably have things to. The, my, I have Mittens. wish knitting <laughs> <laughs> that I'll mention if we need one. Um, secondly, I brought. Um, this is a finished object. This is scar. I think. Scared? Scared? I don't know. Um, it's Norwegian word. Um, but these mittens are by Skane Deer Knits. Mm -hmm. um, this is part of her Speedy Snow Mittens package, uh, or, you know, what do you call that? Collection. Collection, mm -hmm. yeah. That came out in December um, of all, like, worsted slash Aran, more Aran, because you didn't want a tin. Yeah. Yeah. That's Aran. Aran, wait. Bulky mitten, even yeah, bulky. bulky even. Um, I guess this is pretty bulky. Um, mittens, and they are so warm. Um, I love them, and they literally took me. We watched. Um, I was telling you about this. We watched Good Omens. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, we watched Good Omens, and I finished like. We did two episodes a night. So I watched two episodes, two episodes, mm -hmm. two episodes, <laughs> and then it was done. And I had to 
that the other <laughs> half <laughs> mitten. Yeah. yeah, but yay. Um, it's really that's, so cozy. That's, yeah. that's on my, my like, wish list knitting too. I've got to make Haley some mittens. Yeah. Um, I totally recommend Canada. I yeah. totally recommend this group. It's cute. Yeah. Um, if you like lighter weight, Skandir also has two mitten clubs. Um, or three. She has three. 2018, 2019, 20, three. No. 2017, 18, and 19. Um, and the last two, club two and three, Start with bulky weight, and then go all the way down to fingering. So there's options for bulky, worsted, DK, fingering, sport. Yeah, sport fingering are sort of interchangeable. It covers all your bases. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this one, the snow, the speedy snows, are just bulky. I love it. That's so pretty. The um, yarn is so pretty too. Right. A little bit about the yarn. Um, the white is Alpha Slopey. Um, by Lopey which we have a little bit of left mm -hmm. in the store. If you're dying to make a Icelandic sweater, we can get more. Yeah, exactly. I, I've actually been thinking, because I'm going to do a pair with Lopi from, yeah. from my deep stash. I've been missing <laughs> Alifus Lopi I, I think I think we may want to restock I've it. I've been we'll thinking see. about Let Lopi, too, because you mm -hmm. can make worsted. Because we have, we'll talk about that. We've got like a good, you know, Norwegian-ish fingering splash yeah. sport. Mm -hmm. We don't have anything really in the worsted mm -hmm. or and like the, right the now, Felix yeah. sweater that I made. That's written for Lopi. Uh, the Let Lopi. Yeah, that's Let Lopi yeah. is a Let super Lopi common mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. sweater yarn. Um, the color, which I love, so, so pretty, pretty. Yeah. right? Um, the color name is As You Wish. It is by Blue Gate Farms in Des Moines, Iowa. So Beth picked up, my oldest daughter picked up this yarn for me at the farmer's market. Blue Gate Farms is a, a farm there. They operate, a, they have a CSA um, and go to the farmer's market. And basically they have their own herd of, mm -hmm. a, you know, a small flock of sheep and some goats. Um, they, you know, have their own fiber mill. They dye it, hand spun. If you want it, you can go to the farmer's market in Des Moines from the spring it's to the so fall. It's so cool. It's really pretty. <laughs> but that's yeah. where it is. I love that. It's, it's so great. seasonal, so local. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. those are for Beth, right? Those are yeah, for these her are for, Beth. Yeah, these are for, that's for her to go back to college in Des Moines. Um, where, where she needs serious warm mittens as well. <laughs> they're so they're nice. super warm. Right? Can I try one? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll wear one before the other. And since I am right. sending these off, and I just love this pattern. Oh, I, so cozy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I think, it, is this a different pattern? This, this is the is, same one. It same is, pattern. Because okay. yeah. I think that, I thought that was the one I bought it, but I thought it looked, I, you know, with the super bulky, the, um, it does look a little different, I guess. Yeah. The, uh, or the, you know, the lumpy. This mm -hmm. looks similar to the Speedy Selby Met and, um, and Packet. Selby Mitten Club 2. I think that's the one I Which bought. Which is what I, I made before. I I've shown it on the podcast before. That's with the what it was. Yes. With yes. the um, alpaca. You yes. That's, an that alpaca. That, that's yeah. the one I got. But I made this mitten on Sunday while I was here. Mm -hmm. I started it. I cast Whole it. Thing. Yeah. I cast it on when I got here. I We had a lot of customers coming in. But I... Oh, no, wait. It was Saturday. I cast it on when and I got Saturday here. Saturday is a longer day. So that Saturday is a longer day. <laughs> it makes you feel hours. better right now. <laughs> But I'm like, well, because I know, I mean, I don't that know. extra I, hour or two. No, well, three. get you to the top. There were another three. two hours because Abby <laughs> was here. Um, she had a book report to finish and she had been fooling around all afternoon. And I told her I wouldn't take her home for dinner until she finished her book report. Oh, wow. So we sat here until 7.45. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so you had, you definitely had yeah, That's why you finished I was it. like, I try this one. I'm knitting a mitten. There we can go. just sit right here, honey, until you do your book report. <clears throat> no dinner for you. I'm just fine. <laughs> so what yarn did you make that one out of? We did go eat dinner afterwards. Okay. I did. I, you feed family. your children. I do feed my children. <laughs> yes. No. You have to if you see Abby's day. picture, you'll know I feed my children. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, this, I like this a lot. I, I love working with this yarn. This is my... This is Lucky Tweed, right? It's Lucky Tweed. I think Cal I'm Bourbon going Lawrence? to make a... This is my, if we needed another pattern to mention. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make the Felix pullover by Amy Christopher. Well, it's funny because that's I'm what count I'll, that I'll show you. I'll show you in my. I'm gonna put it in parentheses. I'll show you in my uh, 
when, when I get to my on the needles, that that's well, we'll see. We'll get uh, there. The reason that we keep pointing over there is that it's that's hanging over there. The well, Felix her cardigan Felix, my cardigan, Felix cardigan, cardigan. But I was actually thinking about making the Felix pullover too, and I'm not sure in what. Uh, so maybe we should do like a spontaneous like Felix knit along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my well, and we still I think have to the schedule. world is doing a Felix knit along. I think it is. Because it's such a But we still need to schedule our Ursa Minor. I know we do need to have. schedule our Ursa I, Minor. When I, was looking, when I was looking for my Lucky Tweed that I bought for my um, Magnolia sweater. We should I, I came that. across my Targi Belkin. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. that's another sweater I'm making this winter. We should mention winter. that to folks. We should, we should, okay, after this podcast is done, we're going to plan that, but we should mention yes. that to folks for the Oink trunk show, because they have Bulky as well. Yeah, yes. Oink Bulky yes, too. Yes. We could do a trunk show or some minor. There you go. There you go. There, you go. there we go. And you know, maybe, why don't we start on Valentine's Day or something? Yeah, you like, know what? Make yourself a present. Make, make yourself, yourself a, a present. Really nice I was thinking February is good because it's like, it's a cropped sweater. Mm -hmm. It's in bulky. Mm -hmm. It'll go quickly. It'll go super fast. It'll go super fast. Like so why don't we pick the shortest month? <laughs> and you get an extra day. And you still get an extra day. Because <laughs> it's sleepy. I'm writing it down because we will inevitably we forget until forget Amanda things. edits this. And she's like, oh, oh yeah. Don't we forget never... we said such and such. So, so I'm going to write February Cal. I was so surprised with this yarn, though. Um, it looks like it's going to be rustic. Mm -hmm. It does not feel rustic. It's soft. It's really no, nice. No, it doesn't. It's, it's, I mean, it's, so it's got body to it, but it's it's not okay. it's not scratchy by any means. It's very... Not yeah. buttery. Yeah, it, it is. is. It, it is. It has, like, almost a... Did you block this? No, not yet. Wait until you block it. That is buttery. This is a store sample. I'm not making the second mitten, so I don't know if I'm going to block it's, it. Mm -hmm. No, you should just block it. Because it tries naming. <laughs> it feels nice. All right, just because like we have it. so much okay. to right, do, gotta, I feel like we got to. I'm, I'm going to be the taskmaster okay, to keep this moving. Good. Okay. All right. I'm so, going to model those are, those, are my, those are my finished objects. All right. Do you want me to talk about whips, or do you want to? Um, no, let's go to talk about. I'll do my finished objects. objects. All right. So I am wearing an older finished object that is the Age of Brass and Steam Shawl, which I know you guys have seen me wear this before. Not this yeah. one because I've made like five of them. But I love I love that one. This is I do too. This is such. Knitted with worsted in oh, um, Sitka, so Sitka National Historic Park, or whatever it is. Nice. Um, and it's, so I, it's just, it's such a simple pattern, but I love it in either a solid or a speckle like this. Um, and this is... It's really a good way to show off a This was like speckle. two skeins. Yeah. This was two skeins. And I think I didn't even, a lot of times, uh, depending on how much yarn I have and how big I want to make the Age of Brass and Steam, I wind up having to substitute you know, kind of a complimentary color as part of the bind off. I didn't yeah. on this. I just, I just kept okay. weighing my yarn as I went. So I'm like, yeah, I can finish That's this. That's the trick. That's the trick. So Weigh that your yarn. is that one. And while I have that off, I will show you something that is finished, but not blocked yet. And okay. the reason it's not blocked yet is because I need to read you my bind off, oh. but I didn't have the mojo to do that last night. So this is my staring at star sweater, nice. which Yay! I was working on <gasps> through the fall. So and pretty. it is an Alicia oh, Plummer pattern. Um, love it. I made it. I made it about the length. I did make the ribbing a little bit longer, but it is about the length she specifies. I it's a great length. I definitely made the sleeves longer. I don't like. Well, this you is don't it's, like crop it's wool. It's also a wool sweater. So like I, you know, it, I think she intended it as a more summery Your springy head's sweater. Outer bark. Oh Sorry. yeah. I'll, I'll sit down. Um, <laughs> really just do squats. <laughs> yeah, I know, do I. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I this made the sleeves full length. Oh, and actually, yeah, I should have, I wound up having to use my swatch. Mm. Um, so the, this, this uh, cuff is a bit, yeah, it, I didn't, I didn't re, you know, re-block it before I used it, but it'll be all right. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the sleeves are really just wrist length. Um, but, yeah, I'm really happy with it, except that I, I was... In my quest not to have the bind off be too tight on the ribbing, I actually made it too loose at the beginning, mm. so I just need to redo it. It ruffles a little bit. Um, it's so pretty. But it's so cozy, and I will definitely block it this weekend so that yeah. I can wear it. It's such a great color. So this is Mad Tosh DK. The colorway is Rosinante, which, as I told you guys earlier, we got a new I finally, word. I finally looked up, you know, I'm like, it's such an unusual word. It is the name of Don Quixote's horse. There you in, go. Uh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. You think so. I would remember that since I have read Don Quixote, but no, not at all. I, I, I'm not surprised <laughs> I didn't remember because I've was, seen the movie. That was one of my nightmares in college. I had to read Don Quixote <laughs> in Spanish. Don Quixote. Oh, I didn't read it in Spanish. <laughs> well, I was not qualified. I just test well. What can I say? Oh my goodness! The only class I dropped in college. <laughs> yeah, oh, 
couple weeks of that, I'm like, you know. Yeah. I love that. It looks great. It's it's, it's really cozy. A it's a nice pattern. I definitely could see making this again. And don't you um, love these increases? Isn't that like the yeah. easiest sweater? Oh, it is. It's, it's a very very lover. Yep, yep. Very I nice. And I love the, you know, kind of the double track of knit stitches. It's yeah. just a nice. It's, it's nice. It's really fun. <laughs> yeah, Alicia Plummer, really like, that's one reason I think Alicia Plummer does really well for first sweaters, because mm -hmm. make one rights and make one lefts are tricky the first time you do them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Keeping them straight. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and this is to... so easy to see that you're on track, too. Yeah. That's the other thing. Right. It's a yarn over, and and if you've made a mistake, you're going to know within a row. You're yeah. not You're yeah. not going to... Where sometimes with make one right and left, it's, it is more invisible. You can go. So you're, you can, <laughs> you you can, can totally like, do that. notice a few rows later, and then it's a lot more ripping out yeah. if you want to get it back on track. Yeah. So... Yeah. So what number are we up to? What We're at this? nine. Nine, okay. But with a possible two that I'm holding in reserve if we need them. <laughs> All right. Number ten is number what ten. is not here because I made it for Haley. Um, oh, there's going to be a picture. It'll be right yes, here. there'll be a picture. Um, and it is the crop sweater for winter, which we showed you Amanda's version of a few episodes ago when Haley, you know, came back uh, for for winter break. Um, she saw the sample in the store. She loved it. Yeah, I told her she could pick nice. a sweater that I would make. And literally I made it in about 10 days. It was right? so, it's such what a quick. What yarn did you use? I used, I also used steamer trunk, nice. um, which Amanda used in hers. It's a really good yarn. And I used Ravishing Rouge um, and Harper. Actually, Ooh. I can grab the yarn. Should I bother? Yeah. Or we'll throw a picture in we'll of the yarn. We'll put a picture in. We'll put a picture of the yarns. And then we've got a picture of Haley wearing it. Um, in the hotel because literally I finished it. <laughs> what I did when I did the ribbing at the bottom, um, originally I did a two by one rib because I don't love one by one rib, yeah. but I decided to test the one by one rib on the neckline just to see what it looked like. And and you start, um, or no, the the when I finished the body, that was, uh, yeah, I had done the ribbing there. I did the neck ribbing afterwards because you pick that up later. And I decided, looking at the neckline, I actually did like the one by one rib with it. So the very last thing I, I said, you know, if I have time, I'll redo the bottom ribbing, and I did have time. There you go. Uh, so that was that was the last thing I did before I left Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> Finish redoing the ribbing, get get the sweater on the child, and take the pictures. And then see how that so yeah, so that was yeah. all good. I love that sweater. Oh, yeah, it's it's, it's really fun, and it's. Uh, it's so nice because you really, it is a nicely fitted sweater and you really can tailor it to the person. Yep. Yeah. If, if they're around. That was the other reason I really wanted to finish it while we were in the same place. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> so every now and then, try this on, try yeah. this yeah. on. That was one of the ones in the running for the winter sweater class, but then mm -hmm. um, it's still, it'll be in the running for the next winter class. There you go. There we go. Exactly. Um, so do you those have are any my other finished, finished objects. No, those All are right. my finished objects. So we're going to on the needles. Do you want to go on the needles? Sure, sure. Okay. All right, on back. the needles. I actually most of what I have on the needles is a lot of swatching. Um, so one of my swatches, uh, Sasha, who's one of our staffers and instructors mm -hmm. in the class, is doing a. Mm -hmm. um, She's a pattern designer. Too. Exactly, is doing a brioche two class. So I am sitting in on the class. Nice. Um, What's brioche two? Uh, it is really learning increases and decreases. Your okay. next steps in brioche. Exactly. So if you know, if you're if, if you've if, already done brioche, if, if you, this gets boring, yeah. <laughs> you've learned going how around to make around around the straight ribbing, right? In brioche, two color or one color. Mm -hmm. Your next step is to make those lines move. And actually, this is a pattern designed by Sasha. Oh, so this pretty. This is the solstice hat, and this is the um, the hat that we're doing as the project in this uh, you know next steps it. in brioche class. So she's so talented. She's super talented and a really good teacher. Um, so yeah, a lot of the women in the class had taken her initial brioche, you know, a month ago and yeah. they all were, had either finished their projects or were well on their way and nice. were excited to be in the next class. Perfect. This is what the next step is. Yeah. So, um, I chose, um, a skein of knitted wit worsted, of course, yes. like one of my faves. Um, and this is Unicorn Nightmares. I love Unicorn Nightmares. Love that. That's what I'm going to make love my it. bulky sweater in. That's what I <laughs> bought the Target Bulky in Unicorn Nightmares. Um, I am currently working with Sugar Wrist Bold and Plumtastic. Mm -hmm. um, it was interesting. One of the things we talked about during the class was it is not as easy to pick colors that work together in brioche as it is with um, other knitting. Yeah. We, and, and kind of we, we all... Several people in the class decided to change their um, either their main or their accent color, hmm. and you know, Sasha has a, a lot of experience with brioche, certainly relative to any of the rest of us. And we were talking about it after the class broke up, and 
we it's we, we're thinking about like how to help people pick those colors better because it yeah. is it is definitely more challenging than um, just picking two colors that are going to be flat next to each other. So I've decided two things. I am going to substitute. Um, this is Mrs. Crosby steamer trunk, a solid gray with that. I like that. Um, mm -hmm. I like the contrast better. I, even though this does have contrast, it actually doesn't have enough contrast for mm -hmm. two color brioche. Yeah. I think one of the things, you know, what I'm kind of coming around to, you need, if you want something to look like this, you really do need strong contrast. Yeah. Just having any contrast is not enough. It needs yeah. to be serious contrast. So I'm going to keep going with my little swatch, but when I cast on for the hat, I'm going to use these two. I like that. So that is one of my whips. Um, and this was just so right? Station mm -hmm. used in her pattern, she used the Katia Cotton Marina. Yes, yes. Um, in colors and at least one person and in 100. the class is doing that. And it is like, it's got a lovely little halo. Mm -hmm. It's super squishy. It's yeah. really, really pretty. Beautiful. And she did another one um, in. In steamer trunk also. Steamer yeah, trunk seems nice. to be a recurring theme <laughs> today trunk too. Is such a good worsted weight awesome. yarn. Mm -hmm. Such a good worsted. And I bet it'll play really well with the knitted wit worsted too. Yeah, I like think they so. They both I have think... that very round and mm -hmm. kind of exactly. Yep. Um, so the other swatch that I've got underway is for my Magnolia cardigan, which is why I was asking Jen about her pattern earlier. Yeah. So um, I got some Lucky Tweed. You know, I've been eyeing the Lucky Tweed since we got it, and one of our so customers, beautiful. David, bought two sweaters quantities in this color. Yes. Because <laughs> he, he loved it. Like, the it's two so of us good. loved it so much. Um, so I, I went ahead and got it, and I was going to use it for this sweater. It is not actually bulky enough to use on its own. I thought it might be, but it is, you know, that pattern is... Because you're doing Magnolia Bulky, the bulky one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, I tried combining it with mohair thinking, cause it is, it is something where you're holding, um, you can hold together. D, yeah, I, it's originally written as DK with two strands of mohair. Um, but yeah, so that I, would be... I thought that this would be bulky enough. It's not. So actually now what I'm, and I don't love the mohair with it. I, yeah. we don't have a color that's perfect. And I, this is, I, what I loved about this yarn is the color. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think any mohair that I use with it is going to change what I love about it. Yeah. So I'm actually thinking about doing the Felix cardigan with this now. <laughs> oh, that would be perfect Which I for think the Felix that would be cardigan. so pretty. I think. And, Absolutely. And, yeah. and, you know, and maybe I will do, maybe I'll do the, um, pullover. I don't know. Maybe well, I'll do the pullover and steak it. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is steakable, right? It's not. Yes, that is steakable. You could absolutely yeah. do that. Yeah. So, so we'll see. That. I, I may, I may wind up being lazy and because I like knitting it around so much better than knitting back. And it's forth. a great sweater. Vullenvine just finished. I saw. Her. Her. Yeah, she. I saw her. Felix yeah. pullover. Yep. Um, there's the, what's the one in UK? Super cute. Pretty. Dundernet. Oh, Dundernet. Yeah wrote or did a I forget if she, hers was a cardigan or a pullover but she mm -hmm. finished one back mm -hmm. last fall mm -hmm. right after Rhinebeck and mm -hmm. both of them looked lovely it's yeah. the perfect weight for that and I don't know I like fitted sweaters but I'm sort of in the mood for a big sweatshirt yeah mm -hmm. and it's a very so. easy sweater to wear yeah mm -hmm. yeah Where you just I, like pop it over and it's like that casual well, kind mm -hmm. of yeah so so that that's what I'm thinking so I'm thinking I need to find Another yarn for my Magnolia eventually, but this is probably going to become a Felix. So I love it. Love <laughs> notes, Felix. You can yeah, like so maybe knit along use, with maybe whatever. I'll use this in my love note. I'll maybe my love note will be like one. Oh, you should do that in the love note. Like oh, like with the, maybe natural in this or something, or yeah. maybe a lighter gray in this as well. A lighter. Oh, that, that would, would be, be really so pretty. All right, so that maybe. Yeah, yeah. That would actually be like really gray. wearable, like a good like gray or jewel tones. Those are my, those are my things. And then okay. the last thing you, I have, <laughs> you have is, I have a lot, so that's why I'm like looking at time. That's why we're aiming yeah. for twenty. Ah. <laughs> um, the Which last time? thing is ah. our Unity. Do we just run out of time again? No, no, no. no. Let's no. Do both of ours. Yeah, you do both, Let's of, do them. both of them. Yeah, because segue. So yeah, exactly. So this uh, was you the, finished one whole side. Mm -hmm. I decided Ooh. to finish the first side. This was the mystery knit along that Amanda put together. Um, that we had is, and we do still have a few kits left. Do uh, you want me to hold? Because I'm not sure. As look at that, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. This pattern is by Jen Weissman. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
friend of the store, Unity. local designer. In well, I'll have it down here, but with a K. Oh my Super god, this, Lynn Ridge this looks town over. great. This is right? so fun. I swapped in. Um, this was a turquoise yep. that was from one of our trunk. Sh- this is also from one of our trunk shows. It is backyard fiberworks, a skein that I bought. Of so nice. these are both back. So these the are way- both the two solids are both backyard. So it is all still trunk show. But that's one of those things, yeah. you know, like you can customize things when you. Well, um, yeah, and especially like this yeah. kind of pattern. If you see, or if you if you got a kit and you're like, oh, I'm not sure about this color but oh wait i have a little bit of leftover yeah. from the sock that i did well shawl. you want to hear something crazy not only this actually wasn't left over but i have another project on the needles <laughs> using this yarn so i and i knew how much i was using i know i only need 10 grams yeah for the eight stripes basically yeah. so mm-hmm. i right. um, so, so that's mine so amanda can we you right, want to well yours? i was just going to say so this is our this is one half, right, of the, mm-hmm. the scarf for the mystery knit along. You heard us talk about it in the fall. Yes. This is what it is. Um, so these are skeins. I put together mini skeins from trunk shows. Um, what? Uh, Backyard, Backyard Fiber Works, works Rhythm Knits, mm-hmm. um, Yarn Over New York, which mm-hmm. I haven't gotten to you in show mine Amanda. yet. And then, no, it's not, I don't, have, that's the one that I haven't. Oh, you swapped it out. No, I didn't swap it. No, oh, okay. I didn't swap it. I just haven't gotten to that stripe mm-hmm, yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and knitted mm-hmm. with. So that's here. Um, but it's a really cool opportunity to, and then Allegria. Um, right, as Manistel, the background. Uruguay, Allegria is the background color. Mm-hmm. Um which I do love the way the the natural plays with all the right. other colors. It's, so it's perfect. It's I love it. Not too white. Really it's right a too. little creamy, but not too creamy. Yeah, it's perfect. Like, and this is going to And block the thing up. that I really like about these, and I hope everybody else um, who's doing the knit along is enjoying it too, um, is you get to try out different yarns that you wouldn't normally try, and that's the mm-hmm. thing. Um, I had a customer here last weekend that was like, tell me about these different sock yarns. And mm-hmm. um, doing a whole project in one, you don't always get what the differences are between different fibers and be able yeah. to look at different right. fibers and know how they're going to knit differently. Yeah. But when you do them one after another... You see the right? differences. You like, really do. Knitted yeah. wet is quite a bulk... It's quite a bit bulkier. It's a heavy finger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, really, it's, it's very round, too. Um, it's really, like, round and springy. Yeah. Then Rhythm Knits is, which is a little bit lighter fingering. And, mm-hmm. you know, I'd say Backyard Fiber Works is somewhere in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, so you get a feel of what you like, the different mm-hmm. kinds of fibers, you know, yeah. the different kind of fabric it makes, um, how they, Ooh. you know, and, and, and sort of, like, learn what you mm-hmm. like in a fingering. And very what, pretty different yeah. uses are. I so love this colorway. This too. is the Very this nice. is the blues colorway. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we have both boxes of the greens which I'm doing and the blues which you're doing, blues and yeah. purples. This is my purple. Available. Ooh. That's the last Ooh. one. Is that the Yarn Over New York? Yes, this is mm-hmm. the Yarn Over New York. So mm-hmm. that's going to be the last one. Here. Yeah, it's going to be such um, a pretty gradient to I that. saw it. Yeah, uh, look at that. Um, it it looks vib- bright, um, but once you actually stripe it in with the white, they it, blend. Tones, mm-hmm. it looks so gorgeous. We have one knitter in our because we do have a special knit along group for those who are participating in our twelve days of winter knit along. Um, but who's done the purple already? I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, I love it. it Is that Karen so Burzens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, she <laughs> she really sweetie. she uh, well she she did all one side like you did mm-hmm. i'm doing both at the same time so yeah wow. mm-hmm. I've got so you'll be yarn spaghetti you'll be ahead yeah well, well i feel like this is going to come together so quickly it's just oh yeah. once you get the two halves done so i've got the two little triangles almost identical halves won't now. take too oh, long so pretty um, yeah yay very nice. And um, I know we've heard so many comments from people who, you know, who bought the boxes and they love all the little goodies that you the picked goodies. out and put in there. They're Yay, definitely. Extra. So basically, oh, and maybe you can throw in one of the, I know you have a picture that you did on Instagram, right? Of the box yes. open, right? With yeah. all the goodies. So it is fun. So it's like, you it's know. It's a lot of fun. The, fun the thing that I always think of too, if you, if you didn't get what you wanted for the holidays, it's a nice way to treat yourself. Yes. And, and, yeah. Yeah. and there truly are surprises. Over, yeah. So yeah, we do. You, we've got you need at least that six makeup here. I think we've got three and three. Yes. <laughs> or for somebody else. Sometimes you need to do a makeup mm-hmm. show for somebody mm-hmm. else. Um, that's a, that's Just, a really yeah. good... And they're not on our website, but either call the store or email us and we can get you hooked up. Yeah. Actually, uh, one of our one of our friends of the store who moved away recently called the other day and said she was thinking about it. So, oh! Um, that's I'm probably going to wind up shipping one a lot after of fun. Her. So, yeah, a lot this of fun. year I think it was, all, you know, folks were getting... The idea of like what is a mystery knit along? Yes. You've never done one before. I've never done one for sure. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think uh, I think I'm gonna do one next year. I think that's a good for, idea. 
for the holidays. I yeah. like that it starts on solstice, mm-hmm. and yeah. it's like a little bit after the holiday craziness. The holiday or you can yeah. start it after the holiday craziness, and it's not mm-hmm. like in the middle of December you're trying to finish a project by the 25th. Yeah, you can do it when I've you done it have before, time. and it does add stress to the day. You're like, oh, I haven't yeah. finished my knitting for yeah. the day, mm-hmm. which. I don't, I don't need, I can't handle that. <laughs> Maybe someday when my children are gone. December is I a stressful enough time anyway yeah. for everybody for mm-hmm. all, so many reasons. So yeah. better to not add I that started stress. mine when I was sick, actually. I was really oh, yeah. glad to have it because okay. like, well, and actually, and I, I did seriously have the flu for like, eight days I yeah think. well bad. because after three days of uh, the first day i couldn't knit at all the second day i knit for a couple of hours the third day i the reason i made so much progress was that i was you know listening to audiobooks and knitting yeah <laughs> and then after that i'd been resting i felt better so i thought i was better i came into the store for a few hours and i made myself so sick again by the time i left mm. here i was just my fever That's was bad. back and sometimes it was you just dumb. need to it take was the dumb. time and it's the hard to it's yeah. if, when you're it's feeling hard. better it's hard to rest though it's hard yeah, you're antsy anyway. so this Tell is a perfect it. thing you have something this was to so do. good this it's was hard. so good i'm it's pulling really up more whips yeah sorry more whips. so what are we okay. up to we are at 13 at the moment yeah so yeah uh two days ago for podcast time. Um, <laughs> we had the Oink Pigments trunk show. Yeah. Yay. Um, Helena and Reggie Pig were here again. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, I actually, on Monday before the trunk show, cast on a sock with the yarn that I got last year. Um, this is their Hufflepuff colorway. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, I'm a Hufflepuff. If nobody figured that out already. Uh, <laughs> and Abby too, right? Is and Abby, Abby is Abby too, is yeah. Great Hufflepuff. I made her um, a hat this fall, if you remember, out of the yeah. um, knitted wet, yeah. bulky big Hufflepuff one. colorway. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little bright for me. Beth reminds me that Hufflepuff true colors are more gold than yellow, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. I really like this yellow better. It's pretty. I like yeah. yellow too. Yeah. Um, I like this a lot. It's been in my stash for a year since Oink was here uh, in twenty. 20- 18 actually that's right it was toward november the end of 2018 november yeah. 2018 november. um but i thought it's a great time to cast it on right before they come so i finished this on monday and i finished that much turned the heel and got that much done yesterday i think i'm gonna have a finished sock by the weekend this is a super fast pattern i love it what pattern is it this is the red robin pattern by helen stewart it was in her handmade sock society the first one um, it was the last pattern in that handmade sock society. That's so, really cute. <clears throat> yeah, and I knitted three, three patterns out of handmade sock society the first year when it came out. Then life existed, um, and I mm. didn't knit anymore after that <clears throat> um, of the socks. But I think I'm going to go back and finish them this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Fun. I've got this one and then two more, and I'll be done with the handmade sock society. I love those colors. Um, yeah. So I love this. That's on the needles. So I'm knitting with my Addies, my favorites. Oh, right. Yeah, all the different colors. My, what, are uh, what are those? These are the Addy um, flip sticks. Flip sticks. Flip sticks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which have the dull point on one end so you don't put holes in your fingers and the sharp point on the other end so you can pick up your stitch. I love it. Um, a little more pricey than some other double points, but I think worth totally it. worth the investment because you're going to use mm-hmm. them in every project for the rest of your life. And the other thing too, I you know, I think at least once a week I have somebody come in with a broken wooden DPN. I've broken so many. If yeah, you're, you do. If you're a, They're not forever. A tight knitter or, or whatever, or, if, or just or yeah. people sit on them, or people's dogs sit on them. Yeah, yeah. Or that's not going to happen with the Addies. No, it's, it's easy, not, and that's no. also like I don't like when the the wood the wood needles, the bamboo they needles, warp a little bit. Warp. warp. Well, do you know me. what's so funny? I me. I have some bamboo ones that I use a lot that I've used for many shawls. I actually like the curve. They actually fit my hands better. It bugs me. It bothers me. I try to like <laughs> rotate it to like uncurve, and then mm-hmm. I need to just use metal. I'm moving on. Yes, move on. Move on. Move on. <laughs> All right, next one. Yeah, because I have a week. Yeah. yeah, I know. Fifteen. Yeah. So this is I've showed this before. Um, this was wool. It's, so our, it's fiber that I got. Um, it's a wool angora blend. You're um, it. I'm sorry. That's not something that we can get commercially and carry here. Um, but I got this at Rhinebeck in 2018 like from the farmer yes from mm-hmm. the farmer mm-hmm. it's a farmer in maine and i forget which one um but this so is wool pretty. mohair um this is the netherton pullover mm-hmm. so it was in pom-pom's original issue love pom-pom they have such classy sweater designs mm-hmm. yes. and 
accessory designs and all sorts of things. Just everything. Um, so I love collecting their magazines because I actually I have another one that I'm going to cast on from Pom Pom. I think I've got I've got ideas. I have plans. <laughs> um, but they're just great to browse through. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're really nice of them. Really Beautiful good ideas. Aesthetic. So over the holidays, I almost finished this sleeve. Yeah. I was. Um, knitting at my in-laws house and I thought I had all the tools that I needed to finish oh. um, I bound off the bottom with a four right you're knitting with a six knit the whole sleeve knit the lace design realized a four that I had was a 24 inch circular that oh a I'm not a huge fan of magic loop and B it's just not that's enough. really it's would be a pain enough. in the butt to do yeah. magic loop yeah. on a 24 so I just put the stitches on the four that I had picked up the six on the other side and knit that sleeve no. round and round and round and round um, I'm about an inch and a half from the lace design on the other side mm -hmm. so um, yeah this is my uh, what do you call it conference call project right now Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. sleeves on a call, are good oh yeah just and there's, there's the way that these sleeves are there's um lily another kid i would be done with this sweater story of my life um <laughs> i was like lily try it on and the pattern you can see it. this is the crop pullover on the front it's made with like a little crop sleeve design yeah yeah she put it on she's like i want long sleeves <laughs> okay, fine. So then I had to put on several more inches. Mm -hmm. um, but it's basically straight. There's not decreases in uh -huh, the sleeve. Yeah. And then they have one round of like multiple decreases on so that So it's round. like a little bubble. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then you're true. supposed to have this and whatever, but then I go a little more further. But I think it'll, it'll be fine. Time. Yeah, it'll block out and it'll be a little bit more gradual decrease. But mm -hmm. anyway, so that's Very nice. what I'm doing. So that one's for Lily. That's for Lily. It's almost done. It will be a finished object in a couple podcasts, probably. Nice. Um, and so we're at 15, yeah. for those of you keeping track. I think. What's in this bag? <laughs> <laughs> that bag is the, that's the um, 12 Days of Winter Middle Long. Okay. I think this is my last one. Uh, Red Robin, Netherton. Yeah. Oh, the other thing is I am wearing my Marled Fade Triangle by Stephen West today. I'm counting it. It's 16. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marl Fade Triangle. And that was Jewel Shalka. That was with, with, yes, with Bob, right? Yes, this was, was their Ba Colors of the Month, February 2018 yeah. through June 2018. Mm -hmm. This is also an if you're going to a trunk show and pick up a few skeins, right, that you That's love. A project to use it this for. is awesome. You know, bring in three skeins that sort of maybe could go together mm -hmm. sort and of then, and then and pick, then other pick ones from the another couple that, yeah yeah or Perfect. from the shelf you know if you have a tendency to buy onesies twosies this is an amazing right? shawl yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean I that's mean, the I, fun thing I all the do. time yes yeah mm -hmm. um yeah because it's sometimes it's hard to invest 150 dollars in a truck all show. at once yeah or, or, or just even and or deciding know. deciding yeah, what exactly. are you going to make with it how much are you going to make i just love it so much i need to buy it yeah, and also because it's it's not like it's always here. It's a limited time right. thing. Yeah. If you've got that opportunity, yeah. if there's something you love, this is a great shell to incorporate a skein that you love or two mm -hmm. skeins and mm -hmm. find yeah. a way to go really from one to the other. Them. I love yep. it. Okay, so the very last thing. This is a. Uh, I I love this sweater. It's been on my queue forever. Mm -hmm. um, Evelyn and I were talking about it. We had a class that didn't get as much participation as we need to hold mm -hmm. the class, but I'm still knitting the sweater. Mm -hmm. um, I and love Evelyn's it. one of our instructors. Yeah, Evelyn's one of our instructors. What is this sweater called? This is Demyaka Lopa. And I, this is my swatch. AKA. Uh, um, the ladies flea cardigan. There we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so pretty. I love it. Because you can search that one easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, well, the link's going to be below. You don't need to know how to spell mm -hmm. Demyaka Lopa. Um, but uh, <laughs> it's by Penny Gurry, who's so a. Pretty. Norwegian colorwork designer. I think she's Norwegian or she maybe Swedish or mm. Northern European. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, Scandinavian colorwork designer. Um, oh, but look how pretty. I, I love watched, those colors. I love it. I just took it home. It's a 12 stitch chart. Mm -hmm. um, so I cast on 24. Um, and I started playing with the fleas, mm -hmm. figuring out what I want as my background color, what I want as mm -hmm. my flea color. Um, I, w I didn't want anything like super bold mm -hmm. at first. So I was like, okay, maybe the light blue with the gray, which you can't even see. I'll take a picture. Mm. Maybe the white with the gray. Jeff's like, I don't like those. Um, so then I was like, okay, I love this blue. So this is all 
um, Phenol Garden PT2 by mm -hmm. Rama. Oh, mm -hmm. such colors. Um, and I love this blue. Yeah, it's a gorgeous teal. teal. Really nice. So I started with the gray and the teal, and I started the blue, the blue fleas. And then I was like, okay, that's a little stark. It was, it's especially like stark when it was just that bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, okay, maybe I have the blue as the background color and I'll do gray fleas. So that's why I have this section here. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, I don't know if I like that. It is almost bolder with the yeah, light on the yeah. dark. It's, yeah. Right. But then I actually really liked the gray with the blue fleece next to the solid blue. So I was like, okay, I think I'm going to do that. I'm yeah. going to have solid blue because it has um, a ribbed band in the contrast right, color right. and the bottom in the contrast mm -hmm. color. The band in the blue. So yep. be, yeah. And then the gray with the blue fleece. And mm -hmm. then I just started adding color my colors in. I, I brought home a whole bunch of colors mm -hmm. <laughs> right so I had like it's like my coloring box I have all these to play with <laughs> <laughs> she's not having fun yeah she's not having fun <laughs> not at all. and yeah and just started I mean we were watching Doctor Who I think um, went through several episodes but I did mm -hmm. this all in one night I started wow. mm -hmm. like after work probably 8 30 or 9 after the kids went to bed and then you know finished it maybe 11 yeah um it's fun to do it's, color work. It's, it's super it's, fun. Yeah, fun to test things out. It definitely is. Uh, yeah, and the way that I see. swatched was, a, this is knit in the round and steeped, so my swatch is in the round. Um, I'd knit one direction, then pass the yarn ar ar across on the back and knit the next row. Um, so these are like loose threads in the back. Mm -hmm. um, but that way my gauge is correct for mm -hmm. in the round because if you pearl you're back, always knitting yeah basically, you know. yeah basically you're always knitting your gauge can change when you pearl yeah mm -hmm. so <laughs> Oops. Uh, sorry no problem <laughs> so anyway these are the colors that i'm thinking about i'm debating about the white i think the white might be a little stark i might just swap in this light blue for the white yeah or the peach mm -hmm. yeah i don't want to i don't know i think i want i like yeah, muddy it too much it. yeah i like more the I liked just blues. I didn't want mm. it to be like... And the, the gold as the one pop. I like the gold. I, the gold I do is too. the pop. I think that's really pretty. I, I actually do like the white with it, too. I the don't know. The more I look at it, the more I sort of like the white. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But the three I think need it's... need to do the pattern awesome. again, a little bit more of the pattern again with the other color option, yeah. and, and then sit there and be like, mm -hmm. at your B. And also and your B. take a picture and then take it in black and white because yep. it is the, you know, you're going to spend so much time on it that you want to be sure when you have the final thing done that yeah. you're going to have the amount of contrast you want. But it's such a pretty pattern. Yeah. Very and cool. there's no, uh, there's no floats longer than three in here. So you, uh, don't have to ever catch your, Oh, yarn in the back. it's like a true, yeah, this true would be fair Isle style or, or Scandinavian. Style. Yeah. And this is knit on a three. So, yeah, that's not well, bad. yeah, I think the pattern calls for a two and a half. I didn't have that in my, needle thing so i just swatched in the three yes. and i like the fabric i mean i think it's fine we'll see i'll see what the gauge is but and are you going to you should measure the gauge before you block it and then measure the yes. gauge after you block it, yeah, block it. You, you should absolutely block it because especially right. color work um color work and non-superwash wool yeah it'll bloom a little yeah. but i like it Anyway, it's beautiful. It's, it's very, very pretty. Beautiful. Really That's my nice. damn yucca lupa. So I'm probably won't start this. I'm definitely going to finish the Netherton. I'm going to finish the 12 Days of Winter. Yep. Long. Um, yeah, before I start this. I'm going to finish, yeah, I'll finish the other nice. things before I, the big projects before I start this. I like clearing out my big things before I start more big things. Yeah. That makes sense. You swap a big for a big. Mm -hmm. yep. Any other whips? I don't, let's see. Okay, we're at 17. So what do but you have, Jen? I have to, go. I have to go. Okay. Oh. Now, the question is, are we talking 17 items or 17 patterns? I already <laughs> mentioned this pattern, but I have another fight in words on the needles. This one is the POW mitts, and I'm using, because mm -hmm. um, these, I went down a needle size, actually, for, especially after realizing that when I left it for a while, my gauge changed, and it was a little bit too loose. I realized I like fingerless mitts a little snug. Mm -hmm. So I already finished bam everything but the thumb i'm gonna do both thumbs one right after the other because thumbs are both a pain in the neck and quick. that's a good idea mm -hmm. and also then you just you know oh, like exactly that. what you did and you can do them the same so here's bam and it's it down. snugger so i am on i think i did the ribbing on zeros and these are ones or one and a halves um 
and I I know most people color work gauge gets a little bit more compressed and mine is slightly more compressed but I find because I kind of compensate for color work by doing everything a little bit looser like I'm already a loose knitter it's better for me to go down the needle size for these um but I'm very happy with how they turned out. I love it. I love those Thank colors you. too. And I realized it's a good thing that I did the yellow ones first for Max to um, steal because uh, I don't know that he would go for the hot pink. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, exactly. he might. He, he does look good in pink, but um, <laughs> he's also 11, so maybe not. So I have that. And then I have a um, skein of Lucky Tweed <laughs> that has yet is not yet. Um, she has a whip in her brain. I have a whip in my head. <laughs> It actually is going to be yet another hat for my dad. Apparently he sleeps in them and I'm like, mm -hmm. turn up the heat. But no, he likes it. So whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but this kind of bluey green like color, um, which is, is that Viridian? Ocean. No, this is no I, I okay. tried to sell him on Viridian, mm -hmm. but he wanted blue. So mm -hmm. I was like, all right, fine. So I'm going to make a hat for him out of Lucky Tweed and I'm just going to make it up. So that's 18. <laughs> um, and then I was looking at this for uh something the great smoky <laughs> mountains national park i love that one DK. that's so um, pretty i was yeah. thinking maybe the love note um but maybe Ooh. felix oh, <laughs> we're all gonna know. get stuck in anyway um so, so awesome. that is 19 no, it's 18, because I talked... Are you sure? I, well, I think you said we have a lot more. Your dad's thing was 18, and that was My 18. dad's is 18, but I already we already talked about love notes. That's 18 oh. pattern. Did you count Unity twice? No, I didn't count Unity twice, because it's oh, one you pattern. Should. No, but there's, there's two, two of projects. Us. Two projects. Are we doing projects or projects? Yes, projects. If you counted BAM twice. All right, then we had 20. Yay. No, I didn't I didn't count BAM twice. That's oh, well, the only whatever. thing. Whatever. We oh, have yeah. at least 20. We have 20, because I'm holding the ones in reserve, so we had 20. <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness. Not cheating at all. <laughs> Not cheating at all. <laughs> all right. We're going to fudge this. I think we've got this. like eight minutes, guys. We've got eight minutes. So yeah. let's yeah, go yeah. to what is new in store. And we have a couple of new things in store. I grabbed the Love and Leche. Lotion bars. Lotion, lotion bars. bars. Very nice. And actually, well, should we give it away? The yeah. little these are... Cheap. This is one of the things no, you might she find. Should oh, you get this smells one of our so good. Mystery yes. Knit Along kits? These are one of the little prezzies oh in the Mystery Knit Along. The mini, the, the mini, mini size. Ones. The yeah. mini size. Wait, I want to try mm -hmm. this one. These, um, are the... these are lotion bars. So if you've never used a lotion bar, let me grab the uh, lavender. I, you, I didn't do this. It's a there. solid That's one, the oh, and you kind right, of just it hold it in your hands. The warmth of your body will melt it, and it last. Forever. forever and then forever, you rub it in so when you feel like you know your skin is your hands are dry and like your yarn is snagging this is perfect yeah. i like to do it before i start like before yeah. i pick up my project yeah. I, I do it and kind of lubricate my hands a little bit yeah. and then um Definitely. and how yeah. much are these these are two and a half ounces of lotion bars which 15. will last you a while it'll last you forever <laughs> and another 15. a cute little mm -hmm. tin that you can just pop in your bag these yeah. are made by a family in Arizona. New Mexico, right? New Mexico? I think New Mexico. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I really love these. I love I love the lavender scent. It smells so yeah. good. Um, we also have, and we got these, these babies. These are brand new. Like these the Santa Claus delivered them to the, uh, my house. Equipment. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like literally the Friday before the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they, And they were in the store on Saturday before the holidays. Mm -hmm. So... Um, which made some people happy. <laughs> they are Leica needle tips in bamboo. Yes. yes Green. Yes. So the question is, does Kathleen need a third set of interchangeables? The answer, since they're bamboo, is yes. You yeah. Just bamboo. Yeah. So no, you I've been using so much bamboo. I, I really can have. See, yeah. yeah like totally. this for you guys would be awesome. Yeah. Because yeah. if um, you're a loose knitter, bamboo is your friend. Yes. yes. It helps you Definitely. Out. It really does. So we have the short tip set. And also, it's this green. It's and like the green is so pretty. Were they and reading my mind? These basically say Kathleen. I, they say we Kathleen. Have, we have take me home. Each of these in both colors, right? Right, yes. in the natural linen and the green. Um, yeah. So the tall tip set, the five in, the five inch tip set comes in both the the green, the bright green case and the natural linen case, mm -hmm. and the small tip set comes in both the natural linen case and the bright green case. Yes, exactly. And just like all Lika Lika kits. Um, 
It's got like this display stand. Mm -hmm. um, you've got the such a great case. Uh, yeah, I love this case. Mm -hmm. um, you've the got nice the zipper pocket, pocket on yep. the outside. You can put notions in it, and the envelope pocket on the inside, which holds yeah. all of your cords and the doodads. Stoppers, the little and I throw yeah. stitch markers in there. So basically, mm -hmm. all you need yeah. are all of your needles, and you just pop it in your mm -hmm. bag. And and they have a really good cord joining mechanism too. So yeah, if you need definitely. longer cords, you can join your liquor cords. But I think the joiners are only in the sets, they're only right? In the kits. Yeah, they're I not. Don't they're think only in the sets. They've done them separately. No, I've never seen them separately. But I yeah. use so my joiner quite a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, like it's on those great. blanket, like on that uh -huh. blanket. Yeah. That yeah, I needed a bigger one. Like all, all <laughs> of the needles are interchangeable with all of the Leica cords. Um, yeah. yeah. So exactly. if you already have a set or you've done the a la carte and bought a tip and a cord, you can use them interchangeably. Yeah, it's the oh, same yeah. So mm -hmm. everything works together. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? Oh, so we have the lotion bars. We have the Leica. We mm. have the Noro. Yep. Noro uh, Crayon Air. Crayon which Air. We're bringing we, back. We had it. So we have Noro we Curry on <laughs> Air. Um, um, right, I just we got new three colors. colors. The colors yes. for this year are, can I say so much better? So much They're better. so pretty. And so actually, pretty. let me, why don't I just really quickly can you grab, grab that? Can you grab that blanket? blanket? Oh yeah, the blanket. And then also um, some of the kits we put together because oh gosh, the towel that, that you made last year, Jen. Yes, um, was so popular. So we did we did a store sample on a cowl that is like super fun. It's one skein of Crayon Air and um, two balls of, two balls of alpaca soft. Alpaca soft. This would be so awesome. So, oh, this would be so awesome. I just <laughs> that one. Yeah, let's see. So we put some of these together, and it's it's interesting because it's a different brand, but the colors really work oh, together. Yeah, on the alpaca soft with this. That? Actually, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. That'd mm -hmm. be beautiful. You want to show off and your it cowl, makes Jen? You made that one last year. This cowl, uh, which is... Oh, there we go. It's pretty easy. It's a slip it's stitch pattern. It's very straightforward. It's a mm -hmm. slip stitch pattern. Cast on here. Work the pattern. Go here. Um, it is a Noro pattern. So it's written specifically for Crayon Air. We swapped out um, their contrast color. But any DK weight solid color mm -hmm. would be great. Alpaca right. soft works beautifully. And it, it's also because it really softens it. The alpaca is like extra soft. So the yeah. Corray on air is on teeny air. bit rustic. So I'm it, like blocking my face. It's a little bit <laughs> rustic, but when, when you wash it and block it, it mm -hmm. blooms, it softens. Yeah. Um, Noro it's does that. Really, it changes really, on blocking for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really like a, a, a game changer. And this shawl is super fun. Uh, this cowl is super fun to knit. And um, then with the, with the order replaced, we also got a pattern pad. And the sample. Yes. For the blanket. Throw. Look at that. I love it. Isn't this it's just so six skeins? Ridiculously right? gorgeous. So this is my plan. My myself in my college daughter. And I have another daughter going to college. So I have two college girls. Um, y'all buy whatever you want. <laughs> and then probably in April, whatever we have six skeins left of, <laughs> right? They get the leftover colors. Um, but so yeah. you get to pick by what you purchase. <laughs> yes, for Amanda's daughters. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's I'll probably make each of them one of these blankets for the fall. That's fun. And this, this is a yeah. fun. It's pattern. on a fifteen, and the pattern comes free with six games. Like we have a pattern pad, mm -hmm. um, so we can we can give you the pattern for this uh, if you purchase the yarn. And you know um, how some blankets you can get bored <coughs> of because you're doing the same thing over and over yeah. again? I feel like this one you would break, it breaks up enough. So you're mm -hmm. like, all right, I'm going to do like It a breaks set up of enough like and it's on a 15. Rows. Yeah, you probably so you could do like one skin a night or something and yeah. get out. Bang that know? out. Yeah. yeah, how long did it take you to do that? I don't know, a couple hours. Right. No, I literally think you could do a skein a night. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm sure. This Bucky is arm, man. Bucky arm, on Bucky arm. Yeah, that's why my daughters are getting this for their blanket and not <laughs> the worst of white blanket I've been working on for a year. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's exactly. from mommy. No, that's, that's mommy's. <laughs> All right. Um, and wait, I think we one have more. one The very more. last thing. Also bulking. <coughs> from Feederbrook. We from love Feederbrook Farms. Yep. She has here in the They're in Maryland. Way, so we don't. She has a farm with her sheepies. Her sheepies. Lester. Um, so sweet. And she has her, Peterbrook has her yarn spun and dyed at a local mill. Mm -hmm. Um, and like the, 
can't. The, how do you call it? Barber pole. Style. Barber pole barber style. Pole. So yeah, it, it mimics hand like, spun. Yep. I'm putting more lotion on. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, it mimics hand spun and it has like a very soft gradient. Oh. Like so, the colors change. So it's just like the DK weight that we did. Um, the, the shift, shift and cowl right. in, mm -hmm. and you could do the shift. You could do shifty. You could do the shift hat. All of the all of all of the yep. shifts or, would look. Or a hat. I very nearly came hat. in on Christmas Eve Eve and got a skein of this to do a hat for my au pair. And then my oldest daughter was, Mom, use your stash. You have three bins in the house. So I was like, okay. like but I want to use the new one. I did want to use the new one. Super, I wanted I to use this so one. Pretty. But oh, I used um, some for my stash instead. For you know what? Like a two-day hat. That, would, that could also work depending on gauge with the Ursa Minor. Oh, yeah. That I'll would be a some. really fun, like, different look. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I love that. If someone's interested in that, I would come and get what we have because well, we have yeah. a limited amount yes, of how we well don't, we've got a good That supply. came in right before uh, the holidays as well. And so, yeah. So some we, of you have already seen it and own it. One mm -hmm. color is already sold out. Um, and, but we've got a good amount of the other yeah. four colors. Three mm -hmm. colors? Four. Four? Three? Three? At least four. I'd some? Say. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. So anyway, that so, is our catch 20 up. Big catch in up. 2020. 2020. Yay! Yeah. Next time, I think let's talk about our what what our we've talked a little bit about things we want to knit, but I yeah. think we could talk about 2020. Mm -hmm. What do we? What are our goals for this year? What are our goals for this year? Yeah, I, mean, I have to li then clear through my queue because I've got like mm -hmm. a 10 page queue mm -hmm. in yeah. February. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right. it, it, it's a good it's a good time to reassess. I did a real. I did yeah. like a you know nine in 2018 and yeah. then I was going to do it in 2019 and I didn't. So it's kind of maybe every other year is a good way for me. Yeah. To every other year is good. Yeah. I feel like otherwise I, I, I do like to, yeah. Cause my, my cue is pretty <clears throat> fluid. I'm um, a little fly but, by night about it, but I think I have plans. I I'm it's, 2020 is like hashtag crochet in 2020. Yeah. That's I love what I'm doing. Idea. I'm, I've got I, a new I do have a crochet blanket one in my planned too. for our, yeah. our crochet along this year. Yeah, so that's fun. That'll be, That'll be fun. I but yeah, let's talk about that next time. Yes. Sounds good. But until then, until then, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and follow us on social media on or in person. Um, <laughs> yeah. we... Don't follow us in person, please. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, actually, that's a little creepy. Maybe don't do Come into the store. Yes. That's that's what she means. Come on Not into the store us. and say hello. Yes. All right. Um, we are Shop Yarnia on Instagram. We are Yarnia LLC on Facebook. Um, we are Shop Yarnia on Ravelry. And don't forget to go to our website, shopyarnia.com, and sign up for our newsletter. And in the meantime, we will see you next time. Bye. Okay, bye.